Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make a taco stuffed French bread baguette. This would be really good for lunch. You could have it for dinner with a salad or you could cut it in smaller pieces and serve it as an appetizer. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this recipe will be listed in the information box below. You can find it on the website or the Roku channel. This is what you're going to need. You will need a French baguette, some ground beef, a can of green chilies that are diced, an envelope of taco seasoning mix, some salsa, some Neufchatel cheese, some cilantro, and my grocery store did not have the fresh cilantro, which is what I normally would use, so I'm using dried. Some Mexican blend cheese, some mozzarella cheese, some butter, and I will be melting that chopped garlic, and some sea salt. You're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you'll need a baking sheet and some aluminum foil. I'm going to start by browning my ground beef, so I'm going to turn this on and put my ground beef in here and just let it brown. I'm going to break it up with um, my little um, utensil here. And we're just going to let this brown and then I'll move on to the next step. My ground beef is brown. Now if you need to drain it, this would be the point that you would want to do that. I'm going to add the taco seasoning and we're going to mix this all together. Making sure it's all coated with those good flavors. Now I'm going to add my chilies and my taco sauce. You can use whatever taco sauce you like, hot, mild, it doesn't make any difference, just whatever it is to your taste. And I'm just going to stir this all together and make sure it gets all incorporated. Okay, this is looking really nice. So I'm going to turn this off and set this aside and move on to the next step. I've put my cream cheese in this bowl, and to that I'm going to add the meat mixture that we just did. Right here. I'm going to add both kinds of cheeses. There's the mozzarella, the Mexican blend, and I'm also going to add my cilantro. Just going to mix this all together until it's nice and incorporated and the cream cheese is distributed amongst this mixture. My mixture is ready, so now what I'm going to do is set this aside for a minute while we get the bread ready. I have my bread here on a bread board, so what I'm going to do is cut both of the ends off. Just set those aside, you can use those for something else. And then I'm going to quarter this bread. So I'm going to cut it in half, and then in half, and then in half again, so I have four pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand this up, and I'm going to hollow out the center, leaving about a half inch on the sides. I'm just going to take a little serrated knife and start going around and doing that. So you have a hole in the middle of your bread. I'm going to continue doing this to the other three pieces. I have my bread all hollowed out and as you can see there was a good bit left over. What you can do with this is make croutons out of it. You could just stick it in the freezer until you needed some croutons and then you could pull it out and um, just cut it up and put some butter or olive oil and some seasoning on it and use it for croutons. So I'm going to set that aside and now I'm going to start filling these um, pieces of bread. So I got my mixture here and I'm just going to start putting it in the bread like that. Just as much as you can get in there. Make sure it's coming out the other side. Make sure it's all in there nicely. And I'm just going to continue that till I have all of them filled. I have finished filling my French bread. 
I did have a little bit of the mixture left over. If you had a larger loaf of French bread, you would probably use all of this. I'm just going to save this for something else. Set it aside, and now I'm going to pull my um, baking tray over, and I'm going to place the pieces of bread that are filled on the baking tray. make a topping. I have my melted butter here. I'm going to pour in this bowl. And I'm going to stir in my garlic and a little bit of sea salt. Just mix this together. And now I'm ready to finish it up to put it in the oven. I have my mixture here of the garlic, salt, and butter. I'm just going to brush on the top. And this is optional. You can either put some more chopped fresh cilantro on this. I'm going to use just my dry, since that's what I have, and just sprinkle it on top. It's going to give it some nice color and a little flavor. Then I'm just going to wrap this up. And this is going to go into the preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes until all the cheese is nice and melted. My baguette was in the oven for 20 minutes. I've just taken it out and it's all melted and so now I'm going to put it on a serving tray and show you what it looks like. I put this back on my breadboard to serve and this is what it looks like. This is taco stuffed. French bread baguette. I hope you enjoy it.